Christ's sacrifice of himself for us motivates us to sacrifice ourselves for others. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Bill Crowder. The National Portrait Gallery in London, England, houses a treasure of paintings from across the centuries, including 166 images of Winston Churchill, 94 of William Shakespeare, and 20 of George Washington. With the older portraits, we may wonder, is that what these individuals really looked like? For instance, there are eight paintings of Scottish patriot William Wallace, but we obviously don't have photographs to compare them to. How do we know if the artists accurately represented Wallace? Something similar might be happening with the likeness of Jesus. Without realizing it, those who believe in him are leaving an impression of him on others, not with brushes and oils, but with attitudes, actions, and relationships. Are we painting a portrait that represents the likeness of his heart? This was the concern of the Apostle Paul. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, he wrote in Philippians 2.5. With a desire to accurately represent our Lord, he urged his followers to reflect the humility, self-sacrifice, and compassion of Jesus for others. It has been said, we are the only Jesus some people will ever see. As we in humility value others above ourselves, we will show the world the heart and attitude of Jesus himself. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. That's today's scripture reading from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. And now let's pray together. Loving Father, please build the heart and mind of Christ into our hearts and minds that those around us will see him clearly and desire to know him as well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.